So thanks for watching the videos. We are getting questions, and one of the questions we keep getting is, what does it mean that uh, the church is sacramental or that you have sacraments? You might be coming out of a Christian uh, tradition that doesn't talk about sacraments, but instead talks about ordinances, meaning something that's commanded by the Lord. Well, we believe that the sacraments are an ordinance and that the Lord commands them, but we also believe that they are the, they're means of grace. They are in the obeying of the Lord Jesus. We receive what he's promised. So if we take what it means to be a Christian, to, to be saved, to be a Christian, how does that happen and what does it look like? In Acts chapter 2, when, on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit's come upon the apostles and everybody in the upper room, and they start preaching the gospel in languages they don't know. And the people are hearing the gospel in their own languages. Peter gets up and he preaches and he says, repent and be baptized. So to be a Christian is to believe because we're saved by faith and it's to repent. And our faith and our repentance are sealed in baptism. So baptism is, is, is a symbol, it's a sacrament. It's the visible and the invisible coming together. So when we talk about being sacramental, we're saying there's the invisible grace and there's the visible, tangible reality and how they go together. And some people experience those things in the same moment of time. Some people experience those things in different moments of time, but the two go together just like the air in our lungs to help us breathe. So when you're thinking about sacrament and what we mean when we say sacramental, we're appealing to that whole tradition, tradition of scripture all the way back into the Old Testament all the way through to the New Testament and looking at that worldview that those people had in those days about how the visible world and the invisible world relate to each other. It's hard for a lot of us today because we've been trained to think like quasi-scientists. So if we can't measure it a certain way, we, we just assume it doesn't work that way. So even time, we think about time as the succession of moments, right? Well, in a sacrament, it's not just succession of moments that are taking place. It's a convergence of time. It's, it's the, the folding over of time, past and future, into the present. So, because I mentioned baptism, in baptism we're going back to creation. We're going back to the flood. We're going back to the exodus of Egypt. And we're saying, here are these mighty creative and redemptive acts of God in the past that are foreshadows of water baptism now, because in that water baptism now, we are members, we are made members of Jesus, of the body of Christ, and we are anticipating the fullness of the restoration of the whole of creation. So when you read the Bible and you think about sacrament, and what is it to be sacramental, think about those things and how you see the past and anamnesis, how you see the, the present by the, the descent of the power of the Spirit to make it so, uh, redemptive grace, and how you're anticipating the future. And I hope that that kind of spurs you on to a little bit more study and reflection on sacrament.